another attempted kick at the can, although I'm not terribly confident that I'm going to be able to explain my position or even if I'm able to, to explain it, it might not be all that convincing to some people, but let me try again. <clears throat> when I made my original video responding to Got That Funk, what I was trying to explain was that there is a subtle difference between various forms of racism throughout the world. Um, and <clears throat> the one that you would see here are the ones that one would see here in North America is different from what you would expect to see in Europe, for example, um, or anywhere else really, I guess. <clears throat> um, I was on the receiving end of racism in India a few times, um, although would you call that racism? It's more, I don't know, caste-based. It's not so much the race that I belong to, it's the fact that I have no caste, and one time when I came in off a really hot uh, trip through the desert. Um, my uh, Indian companions rather uh, unselfconsciously went for a lovely swim in something called a tunk, which is a big water tank um, in an oasis in India. Uh, I don't know how many zillion years old the thing was, but it was lovely, ornate. Uh, it was uh, carved out of sandstone, and uh, I was boiling hot. I couldn't get in because my <laughs> my uh, non-caste carcass would foul it for all the caste Hindus, so I had to sit there and watch while my companions went for a swim while I sat there and sweated. Um, <clears throat> that's racism. Um, didn't hurt, I just, I knew that I was in India and that's the way of things there. Um, but. Um, that's not really something that you're likely to come across in Canada or the United States or anywhere else for that matter, if you ask me. Um, but you will, um, you'll get a different variety of bigotry in pretty much anywhere you go, I think. Um, and the only point I was trying to make is that the racism you might come across in Europe is underpinned by a different mentality, I guess, than you would find underpinning the racism here. Um, <clears throat> we have an Achilles heel here when it comes to racism where I live simply because the people that are on the receiving end of most of the racism that I know are Aboriginal Canadians and you, <laughs> you can't really say go back to where you came from because that's more like <laughs> that's, that's what they could legitimately say to us. Whereas, well, in terms of the big picture, I think a lot of Europeans might actually have at least some extra claim to being Aboriginal Europeans than North Americans do. Um, I'm not saying that European racism is okay, but you can't really, you know, it, it, you can't really fault people for sort of having the idea at least that, you know, hey, I'm a, I'm a British person, or I'm a German person, or I'm a Russian person. Because, you know, if I'm Russian, my name is Igor Pavlov or whatever. I have ancestors who have lived here for a thousand years or whatever. Uh, I speak Russian, I look Russian, I have a Russian name, maybe Russian Orthodox or Jewish or Muslim or something, but you know, some connection to that piece of land. Um, <clears throat> our ethnicity in North America doesn't work the same way, so you don't run across the same variant of ethnocentrism or racism, I guess. And it's just something that I guess is a bit of a novelty. Um, when a North American sees the European or any variant of racism. Uh, and I suppose I was wrong to generalize that European racism is all one thing. Any racism that you're likely to come across is going to sort of stand on its own, I guess, because it's a bigot, bigotry, and every bigot has their own way of expressing their bigotry. Um, but as I said, it was it was a tough subject for me to broach. I didn't. I've been putting it off for years, and whenever I bring it up, I always think that I'm offending somebody. I, I just. Uh, I guess what it is is the Canadian and American version of nationality is flexible just out of necessity because we've had waves of immigrants. Um, the interesting thing is, I, I'm not really sure that the say the New Zealand or Australian version is quite so flexible as the Canadian or American one. Um, not that 
Australians are any more given to racism than anybody else, but what I'm, I think that the Australians and the New Zealanders see themselves as an actual people that actually have a history and a, you know, they have certain characteristics, whereas, um, you know, the other kind of colonials, us, and I don't even mean that pejoratively, kind of, at least in terms of our actual culture, it's not quite so... I don't know what you'd call it, ethnic, I guess. Um, <clears throat> and I don't really know how to express that. <laughs> um, there is such a thing as an ethnic Scot or an ethnic Italian. Is there an ethnic Canadian? <laughs> See the difference? I don't know. Somehow I get the feeling that this isn't really going to soothe the ruffled feathers, but uh, maybe we'll have to just keep talking. <laughs>